Hello everyone and welcome to my lab. Today let me reveal to you the true king of acids in the chemical world. Something you gotta treat with respect or it will melt right into your face. Quite literally. So, introducing sulfuric acid. So why is sulfuric acid called the king of acids when there are far more powerful acids? It's because sulfuric acid is produced in large quantities and almost every manufactured item in the world comes in contact with this acid at some stage. Pretty cool, huh? So now that we're done with the nerdy stuff, it's time to get our hands dirty. Get a beaker and pour in that sulfuric acid till the halfway mark. Now grab an egg from your fridge and crack it open to let the contents fall into the beaker. Gently. Now you don't want to be acid food, do you? Do you see how the egg slowly cooked? And no, don't eat it. Now, take a lemon and dip it in sulfuric acid. Take it in another beaker. Do you see how the lemon began to wilt? Okay, I'll give you a closer look. To see how the insides of the lemon change, I've cut the lemon in half and poured a few drops of sulfuric acid onto the cut part of the lemon. From fresh to depressed in no time. You got milk? Take another beaker and put that milk to good use. Pour in some sulfuric acid and watch that milk curdle in seconds. Well, this is obviously because the king acid causes the proteins in the milk to separate in a process called protein denaturing. Now, run to the kitchen and grab a piece of chicken, chunky, if you can, and dip that chunk in a beaker of sulfuric acid and watch it waste away. Okay, anyways, you guys must have seen scores of videos online about how the moment Mentos are dropped into a bottle of Coke, the whole thing just erupts into the sky. Whew, what do you think might happen if we drop some Mentos into sulfuric acid? Well, only one way to find out. Take sulfuric acid in a beaker and drop in a handful of Mentos. All right? Now run and get the hell out of there! I was just kidding. Unlike the whole Coke thing, nothing happens to the Mentos, apart from turning black like everything before this. So, sulfuric acid reacts similarly to almost all compounds. It looks like stuff is just burning up, but the real difference is when you burn anything that has carbon in it, one of the resulting gases released is carbon dioxide. But with sulfuric acid, the carbon from the compounds is isolated into its purest form and never released into the atmosphere. So, whatever black stuff you see here, guys, that is pure carbon, my friends. Anyways, that was crazy, that was fun. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!